Introducing the Swift F1 splicer and coupling connector. It reduces construction expenses when compared to traditional V-groove connectors in FTTH installations. With the Swift F1 coupling splicer, stripping, cleaning and cutting can be done at one time as well as protective sleeve application. Swift F1 coupling splicer is used in conjunction with FTTH coupling connectors. Developed to reduce manufacturing costs 25 to 30 percent compared to traditional V-groove connectors by applying the benefits of the Swift F1 coupling splicer to coupling connector design. Costs are reduced when choosing the Swift F1 coupling splicer and coupling connector over V-groove connectors. Until now, some have hesitated to use coupling connectors due to their high costs, even though quality, durability, and warranty servicing are better than those of V-Groove connectors. Ilsen Tech has developed an epoch-making construction making, changing the paradigm in coupling costs. Presenting the Swift F1 coupling connector. The types of coupling connectors usable for Swift F1 coupling splicer are three types of SC type, the LC connector, and the FC connector. Each connector is divided into green APC and blue UPC forms. There are 0.9 millimeter, 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, 8.5 millimeter, and indoor cables. Packed like this. The SC connector, APC and UPC form. There are four parts to the components. Insertion signal loss in the connector is under 0.3 decibels with APC connector return signal loss over 60 decibels and UPC connector return signal loss over 50 decibels. The coupling connector has been perfected in every way, including quality, durability, and warranty servicing with inexpensive construction costs compared to traditional problematic V-groove connectors. Presenting the Swift F1 Coupling Splicer. With the Swift F1 Coupling Splicer, stripping, cleaning, and cutting can be done at one time, as well as protective sleeve application. Let's look at the coupling splicer. First, we turn it on. This is the monitor. We strip the cable. There are no cracks in the optical fiber thanks to heated stripping by the automatic motor. Motor life allows for over one million uses. We clean the cable. Detergent flows in when pushed. Detergent is applied like so. We cut the cable. Good cutting quality is maintained in one action using an oil damper system. The blade can be replaced by simply pulling it free of the cutter. Blade life ensures over 50,000 cuts. Optical fiber can be safely disposed of in the carpet. The coupling splicer, V-groove and optical fiber cleanliness are essential with V-groove coupling. The sleeve heater. The form can be adjusted by replacing the clamp assembly on the right. The battery. Two batteries are installed. Batteries, over 100 cycles of work can be performed. Batteries can be charged with the exclusive charger with battery power remaining on display. 
the work table. Depending on the working environment, the coupler can be worn on a belt or strapped to the chest. For coupling splices, unfold like so. Let's make a connection for the 0.9 millimeter cable. First, place the connector ferrule in the holder. Place it in the stripper. Be careful that the 0.9 millimeter cable is properly placed in the stripping groove. Stripping takes 1.5 seconds after the lid is closed. Wet cleaning paper with detergent and washcloth. Cleaning is important. Cut off immediately. Dispose of removed optical fiber appropriately. Attach the ferrule holder to the right of the coupling splices. Insert the boot accessory and sleeve into the 0.9 millimeter cable. Attach the 0.9 millimeter cable to its holder by at least 25 millimeters. Strip. Clean. Cleaning is essential. Cut as is. Attach to the left of the slicer. Check that the optical fiber has been attached properly in the V-groove. If not, move the holder, check again and cover the lid. After discharge cleaning and arrangement, the cutting angle is indicated. Press the switch and carry out the coupling splicing. When coupling is completed, the estimated loss is indicated. Open the cover and carry out the tension test. Open the fiber holder lids on both sides. Carefully remove the fusion ferrule grasping the left fiber. After accomplishing this, coupling has completed. Push the sleeve down and fit it into the coupling ferrule. As it stands, attach vertically to the protective sleeve heater, closing the lid so that the red marker of the ferrule is displayed on the front. When the heater switch is pressed, sleeve strengthening begins after 20 seconds. Remove the strengthened connector and assemble boot accessory in the connector. Assemble the housing. The finished effect looks like this. Once more, cleaning the optical fiber and V-groove is the most essential step.